If you still don't have photo room, this video will definitely convince you that you're missing out because it is the best and the easiest photo editing app on the market. And today I'm going to teach you how to use photo room. I'm going to show you all the awesome features that we have, and I'm going to answer some of the most common questions like how do you remove background? How do I edit several pictures at the same time? And also I will share with you some secrets that so far only people who work at photo room no so trust me it's gonna be a game changer let's jump into the video so let's start with the basics how do you remove background from pictures let's say you sell sneakers right so you want a cool picture of your shoes without background that just looks more professional if you go on amazon or etsy that's what all sellers do so you click on start from photo and you have two options either you choose a picture from your camera roll or you take a picture with photo room Photo room removes the background for you. And then what you can do is either you can save your picture with plain color background. You choose the color that you like, pink, black, white, whatever you're into. Or you can save your picture with transparent background. And here is an important tip that you have to remember. If you want your picture to be transparent, you need to choose option and save it as PNG. Important. Because this is the difference between PNG and JPEG. And thanks to photo room, you don't need professional studio, photographer, lights. You can literally do it at home. All you need is good natural light and the right angle. And you basically have beautiful professional looking image. It's very easy. How to generate AI background on photo room. This is one of the coolest features of photo room because basically you can create whatever you want. So let's say you have a cool picture, but the picture is taken in gloomy Paris and you don't want to be in gloomy Paris. You want to be in sunny Bali, right? So all you have to do to transport yourself to Bali is basically remove the background and choose AI generated background. Photo room gives you a lot of different options, desert, mountains, beach, whatever you would want. The world is your oyster when you use photo room. And if you don't like any of the options that photo room is suggesting, you can also type and look for whatever you want. So for example, you don't want to be in Bali. So you tap on create background button and there you have three different options. The first one is assisted background. And what it basically means is that photo room is giving you suggestions. So for example, fresh green grass, beautiful beach. It's basically an option for those of you who need some inspo. The second option, manual, it's for those of you who kind of know what you want. You already have an idea and you just go for it, basically. For example, me, I know that I would prefer being in Bali than here in Paris. I mean, Paris is great, like no hate on Paris, but like it's kind of... So what I would do is that I would just type Bali beach. And the third option is honestly my favorite because I feel like it's a real game changer. It's called image guidance. And what it basically is, is photo room being like your best friend and giving you suggestion, giving you the inspo that we all need in our life. Photo room is showing you different images that can inspire you. There are lots of different pictures, like beautiful lake, desert, like I haven't thought about that, right? And the purpose of it is to inspire you, like give you guidance, hence the name image guidance. At least that's what I think. Or you can also use your own pictures that you took and you save on your camera roll as image guidance. So let's say you're in the metro and you see a cool ad. You take a picture and then later on you can use it on photo room as image guidance. Photo room basically reads the picture and understands the vibes you're going for and creates images recreating this vibe. Also, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. We can always help you out or we can create another video answering your questions. How do you retouch an image using photo room? Again, one of my favorite features, but it kind of looks like I have a lot of favorite features, right? I mean, I do, I do. Anyways, you have a pimple, right? It happens to the best of us. Or you want to remove someone like your ex from a picture or an object. Whatever you want to remove, you use the brush and keep in mind that you can adjust the size of the brush depending on how precise you want to be. And you basically swipe. 
clean, you remove whatever you want with the retouch option. And keep in mind that it doesn't always go well the first time around. It's just like relationships, right? Sometimes it's very hard to remove your ex from your life. Same thing with photo room. It doesn't always work the first time you try it. So just try again and it will probably do the job. And there's also alternative to retouch function. It's called cutout. You basically swipe again and cut out whatever you want from your life. So let's say Jan and I, we take a picture together and I just want him removed because he's always hiding from me for some reason. If you have watched our last video, you might know why. Yeah, photo room is basically a great app because it helps you to get rid of whatever you don't want in your life. How to create AI shadows using photo room. Your first question might be, why do I even need to create shadows? Well, go on Amazon, Etsy, or whatever e-commerce platform, you will see that most successful and professional sellers use that trick to add depth to their pictures, basically. It makes it look more realistic when there is a clean background, so they remove background with photo room, and then they add shadow to it. It just makes it look more professional and like clean. And remember that you have three different shadow options, soft, hard, and floating, so you can choose whatever suits you best. How to resize an object using photo room. You have a picture and you want to post that picture on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Amazon, Etsy, wherever you post your pictures, but each platform require different size. Instead of Google different sites I need to use to post on 500 different social media platforms that I'm using at the moment so I can brag to all my friends about my new Bali pictures, right? You just use photo room. You choose whatever platform you need. So I want to post my Bali pictures on Instagram stories and I want it to be a thumbnail for my YouTube videos. And I also want a banner, right? Like long picture photo. And what Photoroom does, it doesn't just cut the picture, it doesn't drag the picture, it doesn't destroy the quality. It basically expands your picture. Examples on the screen. How to create a profile picture or an ID picture using Photoroom. So I recently started at Photoroom and obviously the first thing I needed to do is to have a really cute Slack picture. So what I did is I went on photo room, used the picture that I already had, and I added background. And on photo room, you have a lot of different options, different colors, different themes, pride, Christmas, whatever you want. Options on the screen, Jan. Jan is my editor. I'm sure you're very excited about editing this video. And why would you need a background? Well, it just makes your picture look more professional, more put together. So you can't actually see that I took this picture in my bedroom. You can use it for LinkedIn. You can use it as an ID picture. There is a feature on photo room where you can adjust your picture. So your face is big enough that they will let you in that country because you will have a correct visa picture basically. And now last but not least, Batch mode, my favorite feature because I'm lazy. Batch mode is basically a feature that allows you to edit several pictures at the same time. Doesn't matter how many pictures you have. Let's say you have 100 pictures of sneakers. Like, do you want to go and edit every single picture one by one? No, you don't want to do that. You know what you want to do instead? You want to use photo room because you can insert all the pictures and remove background at the same time. You can resize them, you can center them all at the same time. So if you're selling sneakers and you want to set up your website, you want it to look pretty, right? Like you don't want the pictures to be in like weird order, one on the left side, one on the right side. Like, no, you want everything to be coherent. So batch mode is basically the coolest feature because it really saves you a lot of time. So it's basically a game changer and a time saver. Beside everything I just mentioned, there are so many more cool features on photo room. You can make collage using photo room. You can put yourself on the cover of Vogue or Times. You can put text on your picture. You can do color grading. There is just so much you can do. And we have so many more cool features coming. So 
Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos and let me know in the comment section down below if you do have any questions or any issues with photo room we can definitely help you out and again i know i have already said it but please subscribe to this channel because we are pretty funny at photo room we have a lot of fun videos like if you haven't seen our videos from last week where i pretend that i don't know what my job is which i totally know yeah i know what i'm doing here check it out and I'll see you soon. Bye.